Morning everybody. Pat's busy there in the kitchen as usual. Just throwing rubbish away. Just making it um, dealable so she can deal with it. <laughs> uh, well, what a day, yesterday again. Um, I had you all in suspenders. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I'll tell you what happened. Um, well, yesterday morning, of course, we we were meeting John and his mum again. They, they came and picked us up again for a, another whirlwind tour. Um, and believe it or not, we didn't get up until 11 o'clock this morning. <laughs> <laughs> we were so tired. I think that's the latest I've ever got up. Um, but yesterday, I uploaded the video as I normally do. And when I played it back, the um, voiceover had, had been moved. Uh, it had moved one of the frames. It had switched a frame round, so the voiceover was over the wrong frame. <laughs> and that was just before John and his mum arrived, Edith arrived. So we, I had to delete it and repair it and then upload it again. So I was actually uploading it while we were on the move. And... During the upload, it overheated and closed the app. <laughs> so that ruined the upload. So I had to start again. And during the next upload, <laughs> John had to stop <coughs> sharp and my thumb at the screen <coughs> oh and terminated that upload. <laughs> so at that point, I'm afraid I gave up. Um, but we went, we, we actually, it was a, a different little trip this time because it, John and Edith needed to do some errands for people. Yeah. Um, my, uh, um, oh, we took Maria. Maria. To get some shopping. Yeah, we took Maria to get some shopping and. And we had to drop some stuff up to that little shop that where little we went. That little shop where we went. Yeah. And then he picked some stuff up for a friend called Wendy. Yeah. And um, We had to drop that off. Yeah. But he, he went from that little shop to a little butcher's that he goes to that looks after their own meat on, on fields and then they kill their own meat and serve it in shop. And it... That was lovely, wasn't it? And then we had to take it back to Wendy's and drop um, and some other bits off at, at their house. At John's house. At John's house in Poundbury. And go to Lou. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then we set off from there and went right. to a, a castle. castle. Is it Corf Castle? Is it Corf? Corf? It was a big hill. Yeah. Um, that so, haven't changed. It's owned by, is it owned by Prince Charles or is it that Earl's or somebody or other? And we, we get mixed up. We're hopeless. Can't remember things. But uh, Pat <laughs> and Edith stayed in the car and had yeah, a chat it were. while we walked um, up, up the hill. I had a look round the, the hill mm. and I, did, I filmed Poundbury from the top of the hill. Um, and then, where did we go? We went into, what is the, it's a coastal resort, not Falmouth, not... Um, um, Weymouth. Weymouth. We went to Weymouth to a fish and chip shop and we, we got the fish and chips and then we drove around to a, a part of Weymouth where there's a little park where you can sit on a bench. <laughs> and we sat on a bench all over the park. Sat over a little causeway, wasn't there? There were a little castle there, weren't yeah. there? 
um, <coughs> in this park where we sat and ate us fish and chips. Mm -hmm. Of course, I couldn't film then. Did I film? No, I didn't. Yeah. Oh, I Sorry. don't know what. I don't know what I filmed. Um, uh, I've given up on the phone. Yeah, we're about quarter to four, wasn't it? Bit time we were eating well, those fish and chips. <laughs> We'd gone all day, we hadn't had a drink or, or anything we to eat. We had ice cream. Oh, we did. Yeah, we did. We had ice cream, up Yeah, we'd out. stopped at a van on it in a lay-by somewhere. Lovely ice cream, it was. It was well, really nice. I didn't have one. Cause you didn't, no. I'm, no. I'm a bit suspicious about <coughs> ice cream. <coughs> all the pleasurable things in life are not agreeing with me now. <laughs> uh, and then um, we went from there, we went to um, Portland, not Portland Bill, we went to just Portland mm. and we went to a cafe, but by that time it was ten past five. And this cafe shut. was right at the end, extreme end of, of Portland, overlooking the sea, I, I filmed it, um, you've seen that. Um, but it was shut unfortunately. Mm. So we walked down to the Cove Inn, which we didn't think was open because it was that was all covered in scaffolding as well. Uh, but it was, uh, and that was an interesting pub. Yeah. Right overlooking <coughs> the sea. <coughs> nice inside. Yeah. Just had a drink in there. Um, yeah. And then uh, we drove, we drove um, Maria back to where she lives. Mm -hmm. um, and what did we do? In, and where did she live? Where, well, she lives in um, just outside Portland, doesn't she? No. Pound. No. Pound it, yeah, there's yeah, Poundbury. Uh, and then there's another place that's posh. Isn't there a shop named after it? Um, a posh shop. Chand. Chandle, oh god, we're hopeless. Yeah, why has it gone dark? It's is um, it that? Yeah, shut it. Is that better? Yeah, it's the so. sun shining through it, won't it? I think, I think, yeah, that's better. I think that's all right. Yeah, um, yeah, we dropped Maria off, um, in her village and then mm. he brought. Brought, us, brought back. us back, and once again we didn't get back well. Oh, quarter to eight. I quarter think. to eight, yeah. <laughs> um, and funnily enough, when we got back, I thought, right, I'm going to have to start trying to upload this video again, uh, the previous day's video. And um, when I when I went onto my phone to do it, it was there. It had uploaded. <laughs> So all I had to do was publish it mm -hmm. uh, when I got back, uh, which we did, which I did. Um, but, uh, people were wondering where we were. And many, many, many thanks, um, happy birthday wishes mm -hmm. from many people. And I hope I've answered them all. I think there's a few more to do today. Uh, but thank you uh, for all your well wishes. And it's been... A great two days. I'm yeah. still airborne, I think. Yeah. <laughs> it's uh, been lovely. It's Absolutely been, uh, gorgeous. Uh, and we we tried to pay for things, but John would not let us. Mm -hmm. like, it, amazing. We can't thank uh, John and Edith enough, enough really. for, no. for the two days. It's been absolutely yeah. beautiful. But we're going to have a couple of days off. They, they'd, have again. they'd have carried on, <laughs> but we just... I think Edith will well know. Edith will, I think she was, yeah. <laughs> um, so maybe we'll have another day with them on Later Sunday. On. Maybe, Sunday yeah. or Monday. Sunday or Monday. Hmm. Um, and then, uh, yeah. yeah. Before we set, we're setting off back Tuesday, aren't we? Yeah, we are. Well... We're, we're, we're we've got a week. We've got a week to work our way back up to Tracy's. Um, yeah. So I don't have to plan that yet. Yeah. And that I shall be doing today, I think. Um, 
Phew! Phew! <laughs> <laughs> and it was all totally unexpected. It was, yeah. We had no but idea when we came down to Dorset no. that that was going to happen. Well, we've been to places that we would never have gone to. Yeah. We've seen things that were well, mm. And I mean, some of the views are just absolutely fantastic, aren't they? And John well, I've seen the sea. has given me this book, Hardy Country, Thomas Hardy Country. Looks a fabulous book with some fabulous drawings in it as well. Um, so so thank you, John and Edith. I've got that to look at as well. But the, yeah, the countryside is just absolutely mm. magnificent, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, and the sea views. Mm. And that smell Yeah. that we experienced yeah. when we came to Dorset. Uh, how many years ago? Oh, I don't know. Quite a few. Yeah, a few and they, years ago. the sound as well, it makes a different sound. A different sound. sound. The water in the beach, because they're, they're like little pebbles, aren't they? Yeah. Big pebbles yeah, the in beach. some places. The beaches are all pebbles, and when, when the waves break on the shingle, Makes a different sound, yeah. Yeah, from beautiful. down our end, um, up our end. Well, yeah. Pat don't know north from a south. <laughs> Goes down to Glasgow <laughs> and up to London. <laughs> but I suppose <laughs> <laughs> it's one way or other. <laughs> it's, yeah, Pat don't care. No, Pat don't care whether you you need to know whether it's north or south. Somebody has to care. <laughs> the pat <done. laughs> oh, oh, Time for another letter. Time for another letter. Is it you, me? Don't know. You. Oh, it's me. It's a letter from you on the 20th of January 1967. The time is now 2 30. Oh, it's darling, Trevor. The time is now 2 30 a.m. Mm. The reason I am up so early is because Mr Winston has been up all night and now he has gone to work. Oh. Did you say he was a barber? He might have been a jeweller. Oh. So we oh. called the police and oh, they found he... an old man which they thought was him. He was called in his underwear and wanting to know where he was. Yeah, because they were... Yeah, have Alzheimer's. Yeah, but, yeah, I think we Of course, we never called it that then, did we? No, no, just... It is now 4am. I have just come to bed. We have found Mr Winston halfway to work. So good night, or should I say, morning, love. <laughs> the time is now 9.40. I have just got home and found a letter from you waiting for me. We have had a right night one way or another. It's a wonder we didn't meet on cloud nine and I wish I could have said what I felt but I couldn't think of the right words. And then Brian, Dad and Gran were all in the room. I think you're referring <coughs> to when we were talking on the phone. <coughs> all right. Well, of whatever was wrong with my eyes can't have been so bad as they are all right now. When I said I couldn't see too well, I meant when I looked at the blackboard. I got up at 6am because I was staying at Mr Winston's and he lives in Moortown. And I had to catch two buses. Well love, I hope you like your new room and the job you are doing, as you say is a change. Well that must have went a move from MT to Fortroop. All right. Yes, love, I know we won't need a great deal of money, but what I want to know is what happens when you come out of the army. Well, love, I don't think I could fill a book as I wouldn't be able to think of all the right words to say. Anyway, love, the time is now 10 a.m. I think I will do some ironing and tidy up. So take care of yourself, won't you? Lots of love from Pat. Mm. I put here, Pat's education was always being interrupted by things like this. It's no wonder she struggled with academia. 
but she had kept house since she was 11. <laughs> yeah, you did. And the next one's from you. So. There. <laughs> yeah, I think, I think that's why someone had to be with him during the night, but how he got out. I suppose we must have fallen asleep, both of us. Um, wandering, he used to go wandering. Th thinking he was still going to work, you see. He thought he was still working. Yeah, still working. And he used to get up, wander off. Yeah. So. Mm. Mm. I've got a feeling he wanted something to do with jewellery. Or watches. Yeah, watches or Jewel something watch. like that. Mm. Yeah. Yep. Oh, yeah, so today are. it's a, a warm It is day. warm. I'm sweating. Yeah, very warm. We're in a shorts again. Yep. Um, Pat instinctively covers the knees. <laughs> These shorts are only to be seen by it? me. <laughs> <laughs> They're quite short. They're quite that short. won't go out in there, oh, would no, you? No. <laughs> no. I'd go out in the other ones, the green ones, because yeah. they're longer than nearly down yeah. to the knee, aren't they? Whereas these aren't. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, I get to see a bit of knee. <laughs> More than a bit of knee. <laughs> Oh, oh, no fruitiness. Yeah, no fruitiness. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So, I don't, we're, we're not going to do very no. much. Planning things and, uh, you know, ring, I'm going to have to ring, work my way back, work, work out my route back. Hmm, how long it'll take us. I don't think we're going up more to it. I think we'll yeah. snake us way back up north and stop overnight. Yeah. I think that's what we'll do. Yeah, something yeah, like that. Yeah. Um, anything else happened? Ooh, can't think of anything. No. No. Mm. No, can't no, think can't of. can't think of anything. Can't think of anything else. No. 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 So I think we'll end the video then. You're still getting little bits of bellyache, aren't you? I am. I, I had a bellyache last night. Not not very, not the excruciating bellyache. No, just just a bellyache. bellyache. But I think when we got back last night, I mean we didn't have as we didn't have as fish and chips while going on for four o'clock, and I think I I was so hungry I ate it too quick. I didn't eat anywhere near all of it. No. Um, I, I I didn't eat much batter. No. And no, I left not. tons of chips. Yeah. Um, so when we got back, you had some porridge. Pat Pat loves this porridge we bought, <laughs> and and the Jersey milk. Yeah. So she had that, and I had, I had just a a, a little bowl of cornflakes, but I felt as soon as I'd eaten them, I felt full. Yeah. And I thought, I'm going to have a problem here. And I did. I think it wasn't necessarily the food itself. I think it was, I'd, I'd eaten too much. Although, well, I know it, it, what I eat in mm. a lot. It's is, it's too, trying to be careful how he eats it. It's yeah. trying to eat a lot slower. A lot, than, a lot slower um, and, and than, a lot less each time just yeah, to yeah. have a little more often mm. maybe or yeah and eat much chew it try and the trouble is all my with back, the, back the trouble teeth. with my teeth that i've had i've lost a lot of my back teeth so i have to chew food with my front teeth um and it's if i get distracted and i don't remember i'm swallowing food that's not chewed enough because all a lot of my back teeth are missing, so uh, it could mm. be, it could be the the teeth that's behind the trouble I'm having with my digestion. 
because the food's not being chilled enough. Mm. Um, that that could and be probably you've been eating it a bit fast. So it could be the yeah. all of. It's hard to work out what <coughs> where exactly it is. Yeah. But, uh, gradually, I, I I'm focusing on it, and I hope I will find out what it is. Mm. I'm going to have to end this video because we've got some. Uh, there's the other bit going mm. on. Right. So we'll end the video now. Okay. See Bye. you again tomorrow. Bye. You were early then. I were early. <laughs> oh. <laughs> We've been said it's you know it can be this folks is Poundbury. It's worse. That is a posh place folks. Poundbury. You need a pound or two to live there. John lives. That sound again, Pat. That sound. That's Can you see that great white wheel out there, folks? Yes, can you see it? You, you can't? You're not looking carefully enough, it's there, look! <laughs> well, we've come to this cafe, but it's closed. <laughs> uh, that's one way of saving money, isn't it? <laughs> I don't know what they call this pub. What's your pub called, mate? Sorry? What's your pub called? Uh, the Cove House Inn. The what? The Cove House Inn. Cove House Inn. The Cove House Inn. View out the window. See the sea out of the window of the Cove House Inn. Sorry, thank you. Can't see.